friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel and I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad to be participating in a collaboration with a bunch of my YouTube friends. So uh, these creators and I have gotten together and we have sent each other a little gift along with a list. And so this collaboration is called What's on My List and this is a Christmas in July theme and so I have my package here this is from Nadia from DIY with Nadia and I have no idea what she sent me or what's going to be on my list so let's open this up and find out all right so let's see what Nadia has sent me how pretty You wrap this so pretty, Nadia. Oh, there's another butterfly on the envelope. I'm gonna look at that in a minute because that's my list. Let's see what little gift she has sent me. Oh, a pretty bookmark. Very nice. And this feels like a book. Oh, a very nice journal. Thank you so much, Nadia. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so now let's see what's on my list because whatever it says here in this card for what's on my list is what I have to make my DIYs from. Hello, sweet Chantel, sending sunshine your way. A sweet friendship refreshes the soul, Proverbs 27, 9. I agree. Lots of hugs. Your friend Nadia from DIY with Nadia. Here is your list. Something galvanized. Something with lights. And one item from the office supply section at Dollar Tree. So for my first Christmas in July DIY, it looks like I'm going to have to use something galvanized, something with lights, and something from the office supply section at Dollar Tree. So let's head to Dollar Tree and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I already have something galvanized and something with lights in mind. So I'm looking for something in the office supply aisle. These little magnetic metal tins um, might be an option. And uh, there are several other things that I'm thinking of that might work. This is something new. I have not seen these. These are little wooden magnets. I'm thinking that might be a good option as well. Another thing that's always good to use in DIYs are these wooden rulers, so I think I'll grab a couple packages of those as well. Alright, I am back home now and for my galvanized item I'm going to be using this wall vase. I've had this for a little while, I've been wanting to use it. I know they're hard to find so if you aren't able to find one you could use one of these types of galvanized containers from Dollar Tree as well. If you want to remove the words on the front you just need to use some 100% acetone fingernail polish remover and that will come off. For something that lights up, I'm going to be using this string of fairy lights that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I have already put some batteries in there and tested them to make sure they work. And for the item from the office supply aisle, I decided on these wooden magnets. I'm actually going to be using two packages of these. Some other things I will be using are some chalkboard paint. You can get this in the little bottles or you can get it as a spray paint. And I will be using some pine greenery that I had on hand as well as some red berries. 
and also a little bit of Christmas ribbon that I picked up at Dollar Tree last year. I'm going to start by removing the label from my wall vase using my heat tool because this label was really hard to get off. If you do use a heat tool, be careful because the heat tool makes the metal very hot. So just be really careful while you're removing that label. If you have any sticky residue left, use some of this Goo Gone from Dollar Tree and a paper towel and it comes right off. Next I am going to take those wooden magnets and I am going to be painting them with the chalkboard paint. These magnets did have kind of a shiny finish on them so I'm just going over them with some sandpaper to rough it up so that that paint is going to stick. And then I painted 12 of the magnets using the chalkboard paint and I put two coats of paint on it so it would have a nice good surface for writing on. Next I'm going to take a piece of my ribbon and I am going to just measure out a piece long enough to go all the way around my wall vase and I am going to use some glue dots to attach this because I don't want to glue it with the hot glue gun um, or make it too permanent because I'm thinking I might want to change this wall vase up for different seasons. So now I'm just going to fill my little wall vase using some of the greenery and the berries and just arrange it uh, until I like the way it looks. I will also just put my little light pack down in the front of the wall vase so it doesn't show, but it's pretty easy just to pull the wire up to turn the lights off and on um, and access that little battery pack. So um, it makes it pretty simple. And I'm going to put my berries in and get them situated before I wrap my lights all around the greenery. And once I have the greenery and berries looking the way I want it to, then I will just kind of wind the wire with the lights on it in and around uh, the, the branches and the berries. So now I'm going to take my little chalkboard magnets that I made and I am going to put them on the front of my little wall vase and I am going to write a word on them. And I love how versatile this is because you can choose however many magnets you want for whatever word you want to put on here. I am going to be writing the word joy on this one but you could also change it up and write the word Noel. You could do Merry Christmas. You could do Seasons Greetings. You could do Welcome. And so I, I just love how easy it is to change this up. It would also be super simple to change this up for the different seasons. So you could write on the magnets something like Hello Fall and put some fall florals inside this. You could put spring flowers in there. You could just change it up for any of the holidays or seasons and I love that. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you like Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell and set your notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos so that you don't miss out on any upcoming DIYs. For this next project, I will be using an 11 by 14 inch canvas, but you can use any size canvas for this project. I'm also going to be using some sticks that I just gathered from my yard. 
some pieces of this pine greenery. And I think the more real that it looks, the better for this project. I will also be using some little pine cones. I think I got these at Michael's, but Dollar Tree usually carries them during the holiday season. And I will be using some red berries as well. To start off, I am going to remove the staples from the back of the canvas. I'm using this staple remover. It's one of my favorite little tools for things like this. It is linked in my favorite crafting tools down in the description box, but I use it all the time. I'm just going to loosen those staples and then I'm going to pull them out using some needle nose pliers. Once I have all the staples removed, I am going to remove the canvas off of the wooden frame and I'm just going to set it aside because I won't be using it for this project. Next I'm going to use some Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white and I am going to do a dry brush coat over this natural wood frame. I want the natural wood to show through but I am going to do kind of a heavy dry brushing on this. I love these chip brushes from Dollar Tree for this. They work great for dry brushing so just on my dry brush I'm going to get some paint and then uh, just brush over the wood so that the wood still shows through in some places. Once that coat of paint is dry, I am going to use some truffle colored chalk paint by Waverly. This is a dark brown and I'm going to dry brush a lighter coat over the top of the white and this is going to give it some more dimension and make it look a little bit more rustic. So now it's time to lay out my sticks and I tried to pick ones that were fairly straight but still had some character to them. So I'm just going to start laying them out across my frame until I like the way they look. I'm wanting them to touch at the top and the bottom of the inside of the frame so that I can glue them at least at those points. Some of them I will be overlapping on the top or the sides of the frame and a couple of the sticks were shorter and didn't reach the top of the frame but I was able to overlap them over another stick that did uh, span all the way and then I could uh, glue it to that other stick so that it had something to uh, stabilize it. And some of them I needed to shorten. I just marked them with a marker and then I used my little miter box and saw and trimmed them down to the right size. This saw is another of um, one of my favorite crafting tools that's also linked below. I use it all the time. Then once I'm happy with the layout, I am going to use my hot glue gun and I am going to uh, neatly glue them at the top and the bottom and like I said, anywhere they overlap each other, uh, just put a little hot glue to keep it all together. Now I'm going to cut some small pieces off of my pine greenery and I am going to just lay them out uh, just randomly on my sticks to see how I like them. Once I have them laid out to where I like the way it looks, I'm going to uh, glue them on with some hot glue. And now I'm basically going to do the same thing with my red berries. I'll just cut off some small pieces and place them. And once I'm happy with them, I will glue them down and I will do the same thing with the little pine cones.
Now I could leave this as is, but I am going to add some white chalk paint to the greenery and branches and the pine cones and the berries, uh, just kind of randomly here and there, just to make it look like snow. As I said at the beginning, this video is a collaboration between myself and these other five amazingly talented and beautiful creators. Our host for this collaboration is Leah Nepp from DIY Beauty on Purpose. I will link her channel below as well as the playlist so that you can go see the items that everyone else got on their lists and what they made with them. For this next DIY, I will be using one of these candle pedestals from Dollar Tree, and it does need to be the round one, not the square one, and I'm going to be using this cloche. Now they do have several sizes, so you want to make sure that you're getting one that fits on top of that pedestal. And because the cloche has a little bump on the bottom, we're actually going to turn the pedestal upside down and that little bump will fit down in that hole on the bottom of the pedestal. So you want to make sure it actually fits on the bottom of the pedestal. I will also be using a little piece of this white cloth that is from the auto care section at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using some of these glitter snowflake stickers that I had in my stash from last year from Dollar Tree. I also had this really pretty ribbon that I picked up at Costco last year with the snowflakes and the glitter and I thought this was just so pretty it's going to be perfect for this project. And I will also be using a little bit of fishing line and a couple of little metal washers or nuts. So I'm using this little nut, or you can use a washer, this is just what I had, and you want to make sure it's small enough just to fit in the center of the snowflake without showing, and it's going to uh, just provide a little bit of weight for our snowflake. So I'm tying an 8 inch or so piece of fishing line to this nut, and then I am going to put that on one of the little snowflake stickers right in the center on the sticky side. And then I'm going to take a second snowflake sticker of the same size and just sandwich that little nut in between the snowflake stickers. And uh, this is just uh, hopefully going to give this enough weight that these little snowflakes are going to hang nicely. And then I'm going to repeat this so that I have three different sizes of snowflakes. Next I'm going to take my little microfiber cloth and I am going to uh, mark out where I need to cut. So I figured out if I turn this base of the cloche over and just kind of press it into the cloth, it will give me the line exactly where I need to cut. And so I just used a marker to kind of trace around that uh, and then I cut this circle out. Then I will just place that circle inside the base of the cloche and secure it with a little bit of hot glue. Now I'm going to figure out how long I want the fishing line on my snowflakes to be. I want the three snowflakes to hang at different lengths. So once I decide what length I want each snowflake, I'm going to tie a knot in the fishing line and trim it off. And then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the end of that knot and then I will just put that up into the top of the cloche and glue it down and you do have to hold it until the glue sets up a little bit. 
and then I'm going to repeat that with the other two snowflakes and this can be a little bit tricky to get them placed properly the good thing is is that you can peel the hot glue off if you need to and another tip is to just use a very little bit of hot glue so that it looks neat on the top of the cloche since it's clear and you can see through it um, and you don't need very much because these snowflakes are super light even with the little nut or washer inside of them but look how cute they are just dangling there then I'm going to put the top of the cloche onto the base and then I am going to put that on top or actually on the bottom of that pedestal you can see the hole in the bottom of the pedestal and that just it slips right over it fits perfectly just like it was made that made to be that way and to finish it off I'm just going to take my ribbon and tie a simple bow around the base of that pedestal and this is more of a winter project instead of Christmas in July but honestly it was 102 degrees today here in Idaho so I am okay with thinking about a little bit of snow leave me a comment and let me know which of my projects was your favorite today if you are new to my channel say hello and introduce yourself I would love to hear from you I hope you enjoyed these projects and you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel and helps other people to find my videos as well if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell to set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video and remember to check out that playlist in the description box so you can watch all of the other what's on my list videos from the ladies in this collaboration thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a blessed day